Hello everyone, Mario Bros. 94 here, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Generations. So, in the last episode, we went through City Escape and Rescued Ruzabat. In this episode, we're going to go into this level here, once I can switch to Classic Sonic here in a second. So we're going to go into this level here, which is from Sonic Heroes, which was Sonic's very first multi-platforming adventure. What the hell? Sorry, it wouldn't let me go into the stage for a second, but anyways, Act 1. And the name of this stage is... Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes. Now, I've actually played Sonic Heroes recently, and it's actually not that bad, but... One thing that everybody hates in Sonic Heroes is Tails' voice. Oh my god, Tails' voice, why? Why? Why did they choose that voice direction for Tails? Oh my god. And that was back when they second used child voice actors to voice Tails, because they thought it was a good concept. But in the end, it did not turn out well. So, yeah. And... Pretty much, I'll put some voice clips of the voice actor who voiced Tails in Sonic Heroes, who was well in court. Hey, look! It's Sonic! Sonic, check this out! What are we gonna do, Sonic? It's a fake? It's go, not here, a you get some rings and speed up shoes. Yeah. I'm actually not doing that it's bad to be Come honest, out. but yeah, what can I do? Not much. And uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Kay Higgins is no longer the voice of Tails as of Sonic Boom, which is releasing, I believe, next week. Yeah, ne yeah, next week. Okay. And. Basically, Tails' new voice actor goes by the name of Colin Villard, who will basically, who is basically a pretty, does a pretty good job with Tails, I'm not going to lie. And I'm going to put a comparison between her, Kate Higgins and Colin Villard right about now. I think it's done. It's in binary code, so only I can read it. Okay, he says his name is Talks A Lot. And he's from a faraway soda, and where flowers water them with dances. Yeah, uh, I think I can figure this out though. Okay, he said his name is Yakker. He's from a race of beings called Wisps. It doesn't look very safe. I'm dizzy, and I have serious short-term memory loss. And I have serious short-term memory loss. Give me back my robot. That's a fair question. So yeah, you see what I mean? They sound very, or kind of similar, not very similar, but kind of similar. Especially since Colleen Billard, I believe she was, I think she may have been asked to sound like Kay Higgins, that way people wouldn't notice the difference. And it actually worked, I'm not gonna lie. And pretty much uh, Kay Higgins, well Kay Higgins is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best Tails voice that we've ever gotten. Not gonna lie about that, but it's a shame that Kay Higgins did didn't stay longer than she already did. She only stayed to do Sonic to do voiceover for Sonic Games as Tails for three years. Which is really weird, I'm not gonna lie. But Kay Higgins didn't did Tails justice because she actually made Tails sound like a boy. And Colin Road is basically kind of following in Kay Higgins' footsteps, thankfully. Because Kay Higgins is, without a shadow of a doubt, my favorite tail voice in history. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go up here. Oh god. Okay, checkpoint. Go up here. And I think we should be good to go, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, basically Seaside Hill has... I have a bit of underwater sections, I'm not gonna lie. Which is weird, because in the original Sonic Heroes, they did not have underwater sections to my knowledge, if I remember correctly. But don't quote me on that. And the Sonic, Sonic Boom Shared Crystal demo actually got released today, because the Nintendo Direct was today, and they actually announced 
Majora's Mask 3D, which is going to be released in spring of 2015, of next year. Which is kind of nice, although I kind of wish I would find my 3DS right about now. Because I have not found my 3DS yet. For those of you who don't know the story, basically I lost my 3DS, which sucks. But anyways, over here, as we'll come up in a second, sometime today. So right here is basically, I believe, a little bit of a throwback to, I believe, Hydrosity Zone on Sonic 3 and Knuckles, if my memory is correct, but don't quote me on that. Basically, you want to get to safety before the bar breaks, and if the bar breaks and you have no rings, then you better hope that you land in a pretty good position, or else you are going to die. So, keep that in mind. You know, kind of bumped my microphone for a second there. And I'm using my Logitech USB microphone, because, for some weird reason, my USB headset stopped working for some weird reason. But at least it makes my voice sound a little bit forward, kind of. I don't know, but... It's weird. Okay, so let's go up here, and... Yeah, you get the reference. This is basically, I believe, the chase segment in what I believe was... Uh, Ocean Palace? Yeah, there we go. Which, I personally think is the best song in the entire official soundtrack of Sonic Heroes. In my opinion. Your opinion may be different, but my opinion... Uh, Seaside... Uh, not Seaside Hill. Ocean Palace is... Without Shadow of Adele, the best song in there because of how damn catchy it is, good boy. And yeah, you see that red ring. I think you need to hit a spring in order to get that red ring, I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, there we go. Classic Seaside Hill has been completed, thank god. And what did I get? I got a S, because I didn't die in there. Nice. I approve of that. Very much so. Okay, now that classic Seaside Hill has been completed, once I get control of Sonic again, here real quickly, I will more than likely, or I will be, be doing Seaside, or modern Seaside Hill, ah. Bit of a tongue twister right there. Alright, let's do modern Seaside Hill. No, basically wall jumps are basically when you get near a wall. And basically it's time for one of my favorite songs in the entire Sonic Generations OST. Mainly because it it remixes Seaside Hill with a little bit of Ocean Palace in there. Which is actually kinda nice. Because again, uh, Ocean Palace is my favorite song in Sonic Heroes OST. But back to the K Hickens and K Hickens and Colin Vill Colin Vill fiasco. Uh Show of hands, how many thought that was Kate Higgins when, when Tails spoke in the first uh, Sonic Boom trailer? That's what I'm trying to say. Show of hands. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's what I thought. But, Coming Villain, like I said, actually does a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie. And I look forward to hearing her voice in the next Sonic, main Sonic game I should say, and I believe the main, next main Sonic game is going to be for next generation consoles, which are PS4 and Xbox One. I do not have a PS4 yet, but I am probably planning on getting one, because I am probably going to switch anyway, even though I've had my PS3 for, what, two years, I think? Well, not even over a year, but that's besides the point. Uh, so basically the Sonic, Sonic Boom Shark, that Sonic Boom Shark Crystal, uh, trail, not trailer, nah, why am I getting, why did I say trailer? Demo released today, after the Nintendo Direct went off the air, and I've asked people what they thought of it, and I'm getting mixed reactions according to my Twitter timeline. Which is kind of weird, but eh, what can I do? Not much. Okay, so basically in modern, C in modern Seaside Hill, there are a bunch of shortcuts you can take, 
which is actually good for speedrunning. And if you take that little trick ramp, then you'll basically skip the entire section pretty much, which is kind of nice. But, eh, kind of different on it. Okay, oh god. Alright, let's see here. I think I'm doing okay for now, Cannon. Oh. oh god, pet. Oh god, okay. So now if memory serves me correctly... Yes, there is. There is a secret life. I'll probably need that secret life. For what? I don't know. One thing I do know is that I need that secret life. But, what can I do? Yeah, I can't do much, actually. But, uh, I'm basically in, in uh, Ocean Palace, I believe that's where, where this section comes from. It's basically a choice between the turtle, or you can actually do... Actually, I think it was just the turtle. Then again, it's been a long time since I played Sonic Heroes. But, don't quote me on that. I believe it was just the turtle. Because there weren't any directions or separate paths you could take, unfortunately. But... Uh, in this one, you can either choose a do precision platforming or my recommendation is try to get the driving because driving is actually way freaking easier in my opinion I mean the platforming isn't that bad but yeah then again it's just my opinion okay, we're almost there yeah there's another extra life I'm getting a lot of extra lives here I don't know why okay so let's see here hit that that and let's see, can I make it? Yes, I do. My controller doesn't respond. Crap. Okay, then I'm gonna cut footage and I'll meet you guys back where that little section is. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, so there we go. Factory nut. Touch. Won't done the controller this time because my god, if I did, then I would have. I would not be happy. Not at all. Okay, so let's see here. Check this. Oh god. Eggplants died. Okay. I think we're good to go. Now let's put my microphone again. That would have not been good. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so let's see. Oh god. Alright, now we're on a beach type. We won't be here yet. Oh god. Okay. Okay. So far we're doing good. Surprisingly. Surprisingly not. Oh god! This is why I don't like the PC version of Generations. Because of how bugged out it is, as you can clearly see by me dying twice. Oh my god, game. Come on. That's three times! What the hell get- Game, seriously? That's four t <sighs> Game! Why would you do this? Don't do that, please. Oh, God. Okay, I have one... I have one more life. One last chance to see if I can make it past this. If I do, then great. If not, then... Oh, wow. It's... No, you still. I'll have to cut footage anyway if I do die, but I have a feeling I won't. Fingers are crossed that I don't. Oh my god. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. And now we're boosting on water. Just like in uh, Sonic Boom, but unfortunately I believe these Sonic Boom water sections are on Mado, if memory serves me correctly. And I had to fix my headset there for a second because this is both commentary FYI. But even though I'm kinda of making it sounding it live, but eh. Alright, let's see here. And now we're into a 2D section, which is a little strange, but then again it's sound generation so it makes it 2D with 3D. But then again the classic versions don't do uh 
they don't do three sections, they just do full on 2D sections. Again, Sonic Logic, so why am I not surprised? And the Sonic Boom TV show is actually being released on Saturday, this Saturday actually. But, unfortunately, as of, as of this recording, Dish has not... Dish and Time Warner Cable has not settled an agreement yet. Which means Cartoon Network is not very wanted, which means I'm pretty much rude at watching the Sonic Boom TV show. Yeah. Sorry about that. And hang on just one second. Okay, don't press my glasses. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try to get close to my microphone. There we go. Alright, we're almost there, thank god. Keyword, thank god. Okay, so what else can I talk about? Well, you know, basically, in the CGI TV show, they actually won gave a little bit of a teaser of Sonic Rage 4. I don't know why, and yeah, the controller freaked out again. I don't know why it freaked out, but it freaked out. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I think it might be just me, but I don't know. Okay, boost and ow. Go. Okay, we're almost there, and yeah, if that little one saved me, then I would have clearly died and gotten the game over. There we go. Seaside Hill has been completed. Thank God. And I got B-ranked because I died four times in the same freaking spot. What the hell game. Anyways, there are going to be two back-to-back -back cutscenes, so I'll shut up and let you guys listen to those. And I'll be back after those cutscenes are over with. So see you guys then. I think we've pieced together more of what's happening, and it's not good. Well when that thing goes through time, it tears space apart, leaving the areas empty and dead, and sticking them in this weird white limbo. When the Sonics accelerate through time, they fix space, returning color and life. And I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. It takes a mighty foe to trap a ninja. Be on your guard. Okay, so SBO's voice actor is actually voiced. SBO is voiced by Troy Baker, who actually does a pretty good job with SBO, I'm not gonna lie, and I like how SBO had to wait for his friend to get rescued after that tail scott scene. It's like, no, you have to wait for your turn. But, anyways, I think I'm gonna end this off here. So, yeah, we're 10, and yeah, pretty much it. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and in the next episode, we are going to go through all or the Challenge Challenge Hat Gates and the boss of the Dreamcast era. You guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.